and that's one back panel. Looks just like the front, except the top rails are slightly skinnier. And now I want to drill a couple of holes into the side of the legs to accept two demon bolts, which will carry the mattress base. Oh wow, that would have been a disaster. I was about to drill a six mil hole all the way through to the front of the leg, which will expose that hole. So that would look terrible. And it's supposed to be an eight millimeter hole to accept an insert nut. Oh, I missed it though, <laughs> lucky. <laughs> Now using these insert nuts, I want to put them into all of those holes. I just use a six mil uh, Allen key to put them in there. You can get a specific tool for it, but I don't have one, so I just make do with what I've got. and I want them to be just flush with the surface like that. Since each hole isn't used 100% of the time, I want to fill in the old holes that aren't being used with a, a cap. Now these are just shorter demon bolts. Oops. That'll go into there. Screw it down. And then when you're not using the hole, you can have it capped off with that little demon bolt. And it looks kind of nice. It's a nice brass polished finish. And it prevents your fingers from getting stuck in that little hole there. Now, my fingers won't fit in there, but a little baby's fingers, they'll fit in there easily, but they won't come back out. And then you'll have to basically amputate their finger, which would be bloody terrible. Looking good. So as much as I'd like to leave this in the clamps until tomorrow, I'm too impatient and I'm very curious to see whether it worked or didn't work. And it's been about oh, 22 hours now, so it's always good for the future. If, you, if this screws up because I've taken it out of the clamps too, too early, well, it's good experience for the future. I'm still pretty young. I'll probably, do, I'll probably be doing this for several years to come, so. If it fails now, that's all right. I've got another plan if it fails, but if it doesn't fail, then that, may, that just means I'm really good. All right, one clamp come off, seems to work. Oh no, it didn't work. Oh. Sworn I had two of these that were unglued. Oh, I'll get these clamps out of the way. All right. So that's a good sign. That's another good sign. <laughs> That's a good sign. Lots of good signs now, let's just have a look at it. So there's a little gap here somewhere. Focus. Right there. And up the top there, right there.
and a gap right there. That actually looks really bad on TV, video, YouTube, whatever you want to call this thing. But for the most part it's worked out pretty well. I'm happy with it, I'll use it, it'll work. So after building the most awesome hand plane in the world, I finally found a use for it. It's too bloody big for most things, but for what I'm doing here, perfect. Works wonderfully well. It all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to reduce the overhang down to about I think it's 4.7 mil roundabout. So I just want it to, I want it to be an even overhang back and front while being 34 mil wide to match the width of the top rail underneath it that goes under here. So I need to take three mil off each side basically. So now that that's 34 mil or thereabouts, it only has to be approximate. I'll pick up the I'll pick up the smoothing plane and smooth this out, and then I'll sharpen that blade in that plane, and then smooth out these legs. I love this guy. Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> So with these legs all smoothed out and feeling quite nice, it's still got sharp edges everywhere. I'll have to round them over later because I'm not actually sure where the roundover goes. So there's a roundover on this front edge all the way up to some point there. I don't actually know where that some point is. So what I'll do is I'll just get some sandpaper later on and round that over by hand when it's all glued up. So what I want to do now is I want to make sure that these actually seat very, very nicely against the sides of this panel in the inside. 
that actually sits there perfectly, so I need the front back one. Front, front, back. What do I need that? I need the front back one. <laughs> I need the, the back left one. Take me, take me a long time to find the front back one. Back left. That's good. Oh, oh. I say. Perfect. So here we go, the side panel glue up, I need to get a leg on there, and then another leg on there, clamps on there quickly, pull them all together, ship it. What could possibly go wrong? Here we go. go wrong nothing except that bit of glue, glue squeeze out that squeeze out I think there's some squeeze out on the other side here yeah I hate squeeze out 